a week-long string of riots after three young girls were stabbed to death late last month. What's fueling the unrest? Misinformation about the alleged killer being labeled as an immigrant. Ever since thousands of protesters have been spilling into the streets, setting cars on fire, looting stores, and even attacking police officers as they rail against immigration. And now counter-protesters are pushing back, along with thousands of riot officers on the ready, vowing to use, quote, every power, tactic, and tool to protect London. And joining me now live from London is media correspondent Neil Sean. Neil, thanks for being with us. What have you witnessed with these rioters and now all these counter-protesters, too? Morning, Anna. Lovely to see you. Well, actually, you know, let's just look at this in a more wider perspective, because the bottom line is this, really. Um, you know, the former British Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Rishi Sunak, famously said in a headline that the current party that we have in government now, the Labour Party, would ruin the country in 100 days. Actually, Sir Keir Starmer's managed it in around about 30, and he must shoulder some of the blame for this problem, because he went on air to address the nation the other day and basically said that he was going to protect mosques. Nothing wrong with that. Everybody needs protection. But what about the other faiths? You know, why not be inclusive? What about the Catholic faith, the Christian faith, the Jewish faith? Just left that to one side. Worse than that, we had the head of the British Metropolitan Police then knock away a microphone in a fit of pique as he left the meeting for those particular riots. So you can understand there's a complete leak leadership over here, which is actually, I think, making this worse. If they behaved in a more respectful way, we wouldn't have as many problems as we see now across the United Kingdom. It's just a shambles, to be honest. Yeah, it's just such a tragedy for the families of those, those kids who were killed. Um, but also, uh, this just needs to end. These riots have been going on for more than a week now. Why is it taking so long for police to control this situation and also stop the misinformation spreading? Well, again, I think, you know, the bottom line is that there's obviously always an, an element of misinformation, as you know, on social media. But the bigger thing, the, the bigger issue that the government are not dealing with is they, you know, dumped the Rwanda plan. They got rid of the baby Stockholm thing. This was all about migration. And basically, people he, over here in the United Kingdom are saying they want some control back over their own country. We have people being now uh, pushed away from the winter fuel allowance, yet thousands more people than ever since this government took over, coming into the United Kingdom for free, getting all of those benefits. That's the real hub of these riots. There's always a, an element of stupidity with thugs and stuff. They're capitalizing on that. But if Sir Keir Starmer, the prime minister, was to get a grip of in immigration as he promised in the election, well, that wouldn't be so much of an issue. No leadership again. It's really all down to the fact nobody's leading from the front. And that is the yeah. bigger problem. Gosh, well, you know, it's normally quite civilized there, like it is in the U.S., so you hope that something like that can't happen here either. Neil, Sean, thank you so much for being with us. Appreciate that insight.